How much should we charge for websites? Now this is all based on my personal experience and it's also based on my location. I'm located in Minnesota in the US, so you might have to do some money conversion, but this is what I found to be the best way to do it. So pull out the old calculator and put in the amount of money that you want to make per year. So we'll say 50,000 just for example's sake. Now divide that by the number of websites that you think you can reasonably build or you'd like to build in a year's time. So I'll say, uh, eight websites, just for example's sake. The number I get is 6,250. So 6,250 is the amount I need to sell each website for on average in order to make $50,000. And this is one of the best ways that I've found to be able to price out websites. So it, let's say you're doing retainers and you sell each retainer for $2,000 a month. So we'll do 2,000 times 12, that's $2,400. And let's say I wanna make $100,000. So we'll do 100,000 divided by 24,000 and that equals 4.16. So that means I need to sell four to five retainers in order to make $100,000 on a yearly basis. Now we're talking about revenue and we're not considering expenses or taxes, but in a basic sense, this is the best way that I've found in order to price websites. Now looking at these numbers, it's also important to understand that these are the goal. I understand if you're a beginner, it's not like you can just snap your fingers and boom, you've got you know 10 clients waiting at your doorstep, but these are a good way in order to get your mindset right to be able to understand how, what you actually need to sell websites for because it's it's really easy to underprice your services because you're looking left and right and you see people are selling websites for cheap you put in seventy five thousand dollars and you're like man you realize that you either need to sell more websites or you need to charge more for them and that's what this exercise is really good for now if you are a beginner and you think it's just crazy that a client would pay anything like four thousand or twelve thousand for a website i understand i've been in that situation i was a beginner once what i'd recommend to you is just get a ton of website projects under your belt do them for cheap do them for free do whatever you have to do to get that experience because once you get that experience you can start leveling up your game and charging more for each website you build don't stay in that cheap range for too long because you're going to get comfortable and you'll always run into money issues in the future make sure you're raising your prices as you go to make sure that you're keeping your eyes on what the goal is and that is whatever your yearly salary is. When I started, I literally could not give away a website for free. I remember I had this meeting with a massage therapist and she found me on Facebook. She was all excited about a website. We went through like a 45 minute meeting. And after that, I was, I was about ready to get started on the website and she ghosted me. I was going to give away the website for free and I, I couldn't. So I just want to say I have been there if you're if you're a beginner and you're having trouble selling websites it's okay as long as you're doing good work and you're getting through those first projects it generally gets a little bit easier selling projects because you've got a portfolio and testimonials to show for your work now some people might not love this method that I'm talking about they might say it's silly because you're basically just coming up with numbers off the top of your head why can't you look at the industry standard I don't like looking at industry standards all the time. They can be good sometimes, but whenever a client comes to me and, you know, say for example, I'm showing a website and I'm, I, I show them and they, they love it, but they're like, well, what is the industry standard here? What difference does it make? If you like it and the customers are going to like it, who cares what everyone else is doing? What if everyone else is doing it wrong? What if the industry standard is wrong? So when the question comes up, why are we just coming up with a number? Because clients are willing to pay for it. And you have to understand that as a beginner, you're just selling a website, you're designing a website or you're selling the development for the website. As you go further along, you realize you're not just selling websites, but you're solving problems for companies. And those problems can oftentimes be very costly for businesses. If you're working with a multi-million dollar business and they have a problem that you can solve, that's going to save them a lot of money and potentially make them a lot of money in the future. And you deserve as the designer or developer to get a cut from that. That's our commission or that's our incentive. And it's also why business businesses are willing to pay for it because you are actually solving a problem for their business. And along with that, it's up to the company to hire the right designer. As long as we're presenting ourselves accurately and honestly, we shouldn't worry about charging too much if they're happy to pay for it. I've got two other pricing videos coming out. Number one is how to sell a $10,000 website. And the second one is why you can't be charging $500 for websites. Check those out. We'll see you in the next video.